All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So last night we got a pretty interesting data download on Global that I want to cover for you guys in this video. But I'll be honest, I'm a little bit late to the party on this one because last night when all this stuff happened, when the data download dropped, I was asleep in my bed because I was super, super tired last night and I went to bed a little bit earlier than I normally would. So I do apologize for that but as I always say man it's better to be late than uh no better late than never better late than never so without further ado let's jump right into it and a big shout out to Proton10MG on Twitter for posting the details for this global data download and the first few points here are pretty standard stuff things that we already know were coming such as the translations for the Tech Fusion Zamasu Extreme Z Battle, which is of course coming tomorrow and I will be streaming that on the channel, so definitely stay tuned for that. And the second thing here is the translations for the AGL Pan and AGL Hyper Metal Rildos, Dokkan Awakenings, which uh, are both really really good. They're from the AGL banner, which is also coming back to global for the first time in a long time. So uh, if you guys want to see the details for these Dokkan Awakenings, then go check out the video that I made covering them. And the third point here is the uh, interesting part of this data download because it's not something that a lot of people really saw coming. And usually when we get Dokkan Festival tickets, it means that a dual Dokkan Fest is on the way. And the only dual Dokkan Fest from the JP side, aside from the anniversary, that uh, we know about. I mean, there's also the Boo and Go tanks, but that's like way in the future. So the only reasonable assumption here is that the dual Dokkan Fest between the transforming Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku and Majin Vegeta is on its way to global. So it seems like that's going to be our Goku Day celebration this year, or Goku Gohan Goten Day. And uh, it's pretty hype, you know, it's pretty hype. Now, I don't know exactly how to feel about it right now because I just woke up and I saw this stuff and uh, I'm still processing it, you know, but I can't lie and, and say that there isn't a little part of me that is kind of disappointed because this pretty much guarantees that we're not going to be getting a new unit for Goku Day, Goku Day this year, um, like last year where we got the LR Gobros, the global first. LR Cobros, right? And that was way more hype just because it was a new unit. But if we're getting, you know, the Dual Dokkan Fest from JP, then it, it's nothing new, right? It's not something that we didn't see coming. And at least to me, the most exciting thing, the most exciting releases are the ones that we don't see coming, right? So, um, it is what it is. I mean, obviously, they're both great units. The banners were both pretty interesting. I wouldn't say they're, like, amazing. I wouldn't say they're, like, super top tier, but... Um, the banners did include the LR Super Saiyan 4s, obviously Vegeta for Vegeta's banner and Goku for Goku's banner. So uh, if you guys are still looking for dupes or you don't, you're still looking for your first copies of those guys, then that's going to be pretty exciting for you. Oh, of course, they're also going to be uh, available in the coin shop too. So if you're, um, you've saved up a lot of coins, you really want the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku or Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, you can also buy them instead of trying to summon for them on the banners. So. That's pretty dope, but uh, yeah, I mean, I wish that we got something new just like last year. I was like predicting like a new UI Goku, although I was like pretty sure that wasn't going to happen because they're most likely saving that for like a dual Dokkan Fest between him and like a Jiren or something like that. But I was just hoping for something new, something fresh that like we uh, didn't know about, right? So it doesn't seem like that's going to be happening. But anyways, still hype, still exciting news, next Dual Dokkan Fest confirmed, or basically next big banners confirmed for Global. I believe these tickets are coming out on uh, May 4th, May 4th, so Star Wars Day basically, <laughs> May 4th, and uh, that's pretty much when the Dual Dokkan Fest will begin. So, uh, oh, the last thing here, can't forget about this, obviously the most important part of this data download, minor changes to the Korean super attack quote for SR Int Tien, because I know everybody was complaining about this, everybody had a big issue with this, and uh, this was the main thing that we wanted Bandai to fix, right? So that's great, I'm glad they're finally listening to the community <laughs> and uh, fix that SA quote for Int, Int Tien, so that's great. But uh, here's the image here. So these folders, I'm assuming, are some assets for 
uh, the upcoming events or characters. I don't really know. I'm not super knowledgeable about the uh, about the uh, assets in this game. I'll be honest. But as you can see, we got the banner for the Fusion Zamasu uh, Extreme Z battle. We have the tickets. Dokkan Fest A, or sorry, Dokkan Fest B and Dokkan Fest A. I assume A is. Yeah, I assume A would be for Goku, and then B would be for uh, Majin Vegeta, and if we're basing it off the previous uh, Dual Dokkan Fest on Global, then it should be like a certain amount of tickets for every multi, um, and then of course you can use the tickets on a separate ticket banner that are the same as the main stone banner, uh, so that's, that's gonna be great. I mean, of course, this is the main benefit, I think, to being a Global player, these Dokkan Festival tickets, which is something that JP... I don't think has ever had, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think JP has ever had a celebration where they had these like A and B tickets. But either way, it ha like we, we get it pretty much every single time now when it comes to global, with the exception of like joint celebrations with JP. So like the 300, 200 million download celebration, for example, we didn't get tickets for the Gohan and, Gohan and Cell banners, but that was, wait, did we get tickets? I don't think so. Don't we? Maybe we did. You know what? Those summons were so traumatic that I just blocked it out of my brain. So I don't remember. I don't remember. So, uh, there, there might have been tickets. There might not have been tickets. Either way, I didn't pull Gohan. Okay, so... <laughs> anyways, it's a, it's kind of a global thing. Um, obviously, super, super happy that we're getting tickets this time around as well. And uh, here's the Extreme Z ticket for Zamasu. And then there's also the Extreme Z medals for Zamasu too. So... Uh, that is the main, you know, stuff that we got from this data download. Like I said, pretty interesting just because we learned some things that uh, we didn't know really were coming. So this actually makes June really interesting because this Dual Dokkan Fest should take up most of May. And I'm curious about what they're going to do for June now. Is it going to be the Beerus banner or is it going to be like another filler kind of thing? I don't really know. So we'll see. So June is kind of up in the air because I feel like Beerus would be after the five year anniversary but they could they could also put him before I guess which would be good for people who want cooler because cooler is on the Beerus banner so we'll see but either way the next Dual Dokkan Fest or next main banners on global seem to be the transforming Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku and Majin Vegeta now before we go let's take a quick look at the details for these cards I'm gonna not really like go into too much of an analysis, just give you guys the details. And then in a separate video, I'll talk about their banners, their categories, and all that good stuff. All right, so starting with the Goku here, his leader skill is Otherworld Warriors. Obviously a new category for global. Ki plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 170%, or Super Saiyan three, Ki plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. Uh, his super attack raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage. And his passive, is attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional defense boost by up to 60% the more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost, and an additional attack of boost by up to 60% the less HP remaining, the greater the attack boost, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% when performing a super attack with 3 or more key spheres obtained, and transform when conditions are met. And the transformation conditions here is that he has to be facing only one enemy, when HP is 80% or more, starting from the third turn from start of battle, which, I mean, as far as transformation conditions go, not too bad. And his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior, Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle, Supreme Warrior, and Fierce Battle. And his categories are Majin Buu Saga, Resurrected Warriors, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan, Transformation Boost, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Otherworld Warriors, and Super Saiyan 2. So nine, nine categories right now. Um, basically, every Goku is going to have a insane amount of categories, which is okay because you can use him for a lot of different teams, right? Which is good. And uh, let's uh, go over to the transformation. So once he transforms into Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, really dope art by the way, his super attack is going to be Super Kamehameha, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. Passive is attack defense plus 120% plus an additional Defense boost by up to 77%. The more HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. 
an additional attack of up to 77%, the, the less HP remaining, the greater the attack boost. Chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attacks, plus 33%, plus an additional attack and defense, plus 33%, with three or more key spheres obtained, and attacks effective against all types, with six or more key spheres obtained. And the two new links that he gets is Limit Breaking Form and Over in a Flash, which makes sense for Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And the categories will stay the same. So that's it, guys. That is the Goku. Like I said, not going to go into details as far as analysis goes. We'll leave that until the uh, breakdown video in a couple days, okay? So next up, we have the Majin Vegeta. Uh, his leader skill is Super Saiyan 2, category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 170%. Obviously, Super Saiyan 2, new category as well. And the Resurrected Warrior, oh, also Resurrected Warriors category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. His super attack raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage, and his passive is attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional attack boost by up to 60%. The more HP remaining, the greater the attack boost, an additional defense boost by up to 60%, the less HP remaining, the greater the defense boost, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% when performing a super attack with three or more key spheres, and power up with, <clears throat> sorry, power up with Bobbity's magic when conditions are met. So the boost conditions here are power up with Bobby's magic when facing only one enemy whose HP is 80% or more, starting from the third turn from start of battle. So same condition essentially as uh, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Pride, uh, Royal Lineage, prepare, prepare for battle, Su uh, Supreme Warrior, and Fierce Battle. In categories are Resurrected Warriors, Machin Buu Saga, Pure Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, Worthy Rivals, and Super Saiyan 2. So seven categories for Vegeta here. And once he transforms into Majin Vegeta, his super attack becomes Final Flash, greatly raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. And his passive is attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack boost by up to 77%. The more HP remaining, the greater the attack boost and an additional defense boost by up to 77%. The less HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. And uh, attacks effective against all types when HP, sorry, uh, attacks effective against all types with three or more key spheres obtained, and guard uh, uh, guard activated against all attacks with six or more key spheres obtained. And he gets over in a flash in uh, this mo in uh, this form. And categories stay the same. Everything else stays the same. So. Uh, there you go guys, that is the Majin Vegeta as well as the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku and that is today's coverage of the recent data download on Global. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about uh, you know these guys coming maybe a little bit earlier than people expected. I was expecting in June, but I guess it also makes sense in the sense that they don't want to put two Dual Token Fest back to back like that before like having the, this Dual Token Fest before the five year anniversary so I mean it does make sense I was just hoping for something new honestly for uh, Goku day so I mean what can you do what can you do maybe for June we'll get a global uh, first unit you never know right so uh, yeah let me know your opinions are you disappointed are you happy and uh, that's all I gotta say once again a big shout out to Proton10MG for posting the details of this data download and as always if you guys enjoyed <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what's going on with my throat right now. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger. Uppercut Media, signing out.